Yeah. Okay, so well, among our uh, geographical uh, areas of growth, we see, of course, the U.S. because we already did some uh, very successful sales in the U.S., but it's uh, almost, I would say, a drop in the ocean compared to what we could uh, possibly do in, the, in in that country. So uh, we are really, really uh, concentrating a lot on the U.S. Mm -hmm. Um, what specific applications in the U.S. are most important? Well, many on the hygienic side. I mean, we have some distributors who did uh, very successful sales with a very famous uh, candy manufacturer in the U.S. Uh, they also went into very uh, famous chemical companies. Uh, some some sites in the U.S., for instance, uh, are using more than 100 Movex eccentric disc pumps. So that's a really big success. So we want to capitalize on this. Uh, because a thing which is very important for potential customers of whatever the product is, and even more for the Movex eccentric disc pump, is to say it's nice for them to know that they have references in Europe or sometime in Asia, but what potential customers appreciate the most is what I call next door references. I mean, if they know that some pumps are used in the USA, it will mm -hmm. be much more convincing for them than a pump used overseas. Well, how early or how long ago was the first? Uh, big application in the U.S. How long ago did that happen? Uh, that should, dates back to, I would say, 10 years ago, approximately. About 10 years, yeah. okay. So it is young. It is very It is. Uh, very no, it's very young. I think yeah, we're really at the beginning of history of MoveX in the USA, definitely. 